Hey. Eh, been a while, huh? I think it's been a few months since I've done one of these um priority lists or whatever. So I think it's uh, a good time to do one again. Especially since everyone's got their free close counter. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering who to follow your Sakami to. So yeah, let's get in on that. Uh, quick disclaimer though. This tier list, this priority list, you know, it's mostly be it's mostly due to the practical use of it and not so much for score. Uh, if you're looking to use your close counter to boost your score in arena, then I recommend just picking your favorite unit that you can merge to 5 star plus 10 and just give it to them. It really doesn't matter who it is. It can be me, no, it can be someone not on this list. It doesn't really matter. Just pick your favorite. If you're trying to use them for score, give them close counter. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start. So obviously in S tier, we have all the three broken ass armor units. It makes it, it makes sense why these three are up here. Even Halloween Harry, you, you would think with his um, kind of subpar defense, he wouldn't be up here. But you have to remember that he also has access to things like uh, ward armor stacking. So he, and on top of the fact that he basically has Nino stat line, so you run some shit and you run this on like all of the armor units up here it's like just close counter bold fighter with like quick repose seal and it's like there you go there's your god tier armor and it's like whatever you just do whatever you want from that point there's no real specifics between the three of them other than their base defense like you might run wary fighter on say halloween jacob but i probably wouldn't do that so then over on a tier we have basically the best non-armored units for using this skill see i'd probably say spring camilla's lower just because she's kind of uh a little more preferred for other builds but it's kind of whatever she's still probably probably the second or third best close counter like green mage she uses on but she kind of plays a different role than bowie anyway since she's a flyer and he's infantry so it's kind of you just pick whoever you want to use, but I'd probably pick Bowie anyway for obvious reasons. Being an infantry unit and being mergeable and just having a higher base defense really helps them stand out. Another unexpected one people don't really expect is like Saizo. Like if you look at his base defense, you're like, and his speed, and it's like, oh yeah, you can run a pretty good uh, bonfire setup with him while running close counter. And it's like, the only thing is with Saizo and Leon, they don't have access to owl tomes or owl bows or owl daggers or whichever whichever you want to call it since they don't have access to that their uh, unsavable res is absolutely completely unsavable so you can't really do anything too crazy with them but you can they you can make them into perfect defense walls sophia sophia's up here higher than any other red mage than you would expect like say regular henry because the thing is between henry and sophia Sophia has that one th that one advantage of having a little more res and having an actual attack stat. Since both of their speeds are basically unsavable, it kind of comes down to which one has the most overall bulk. And despite Henry's physical bulk being a little bit better, he kind of just it this one of the things is with this list it also kind of takes in the value of the unit itself. So with his poor res and poor speed, it's like it's it's a lot harder to spare than it would say on top of his low attack like although Henry is a little bit better on the physical side his performance as a unit overall is significantly worse than Sophia's so it it kind of drops him a few spots especially when you compare him to other units like Lion as well so despite him being a pretty good user of close counter like if you dedicate him completely to being a physical wall he does stand out better than the other two, but overall, he's a, he's still a lot worse because he doesn't have anything going for him as far as uh, his res goes. So it kind of backfires on him tremendously because he's all in physical, while the other two have mix have a mixed build, which still performs just about the same as what he can do on the physical side. So it's like pick whichever you like the most, but. You'll probably be a lot better off using Sophia, especially with an Owl Tone. Since between the three of them, they can all survive rounds of, a round of combat despite getting doubled. Sophia has the attack set to back it up with uh, being able to get lower cooldown uh, proc skills off that guarantee you getting a lot more kills than what you would with Henry. 
but moving on we have a tier for a tier this is those people who can generally use close counter but they have like a glaring weakness to them that they wouldn't make them the best or there's a better user with the same role that's on the higher tier for example we have Merrick with Merrick he's better off using different builds with his close counter but they're not as optimal as doing it with say Bowie with Bowie you don't have to worry about using your your special weapon or anything so so there's that going for him but he's still like a really good unit to use it on except overall he's just slightly worse than Bowie but not by that much plus he has his legendary weapon which is you you're better off using that as for the rest of them on this list they generally just have like a sizable amount of defense or mix both that allows them to really help with their specialized uh, role as a close counter unit but they're definitely not like the best users of it it's kind of uh or there are usually niche builds that you don't really see often, but they're there and they're available to use. Like for example, for Azama, it's like, you can use close counter on him because his defense is kind of ridiculous. So you can make some janky specialized uh, pain build or put raffle staff on him and his B slot and use like chip damage with a little bit of real damage mixed in there in between. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Uh, I've seen a few people do it, but it's, it's a uh, it's a little bit gimmicky and i think that's most of this list especially units like reinhardt like you're not gonna really gonna use the close counter alatone even though it's actually low-key kind of good on him like if i had to pick a blue mage to put in the a plus tier he'd probably be the best blue mage to use it on even over mel robin but the thing is you'd rather keep dire thunder anyway so it's like they're better built for him so he's in a slot and then we have b tier now b tier is kind of a funky one because it's like some of these units are pretty good with it some of them it's like why would you do it but it makes sense on paper when you use it for them but they're still completely underwhelming when you compare them to whoever's in a or a plus tier and especially s tier okay so first we have like for some reason this is a popular choice on people but oliver really guys oliver I don't know, I guess people just really love memeing him, but he's not terrible with it by any means. He's definitely one of the better users of Close Counter. However, I probably wouldn't put it on him, personally. But hey, you do you. He's actually okay enough with it, but, eh, just, I don't know, dude. But for the most part, everyone in B tier is basically just kind of a lesser version of what whoever is in A tier. For example, Lissa. Lissa can kind of do the the gimmicky builds that Azama can do, but not to as much effect because she's not quite as tanky as him. She starts off with a little more res, but when you realize her abysmal everything else, she can't really reach the defense that Azama can reach. So close counter for her doesn't make as much sense. Then we have uh, Faye, who is very popular with like guard bow and stacking distant defense and close defense and close counter, depending on which one you want to do. The thing is comparing her to say Leon or Gordon is like, she kind of just has that abysmal, that abysmal speed again. It's like Gordon kind of has the same thing, but it's kind of his unsavable res. But his base defense makes up for it a little more than it would for Faye, which is why she's a little bit lower. Plus, Faye would prefer to just run uh, an additional distant defense or close defense, depending on what you're trying to do with her. And then lastly, we have Soren and Julius. Now, the thing with them is, you would think with the way the legendary weapons for you, like, oh yeah, these guys will be great for a close counter, but then you like on paper it sounds really cool but then when you think about it you realize that their base defenses is so low that even with the additional resources they gain from their legendary weapon they still end up worse off than what the other units above them would do for example julius has like a base 16 of defense if you were to use his legendary weapon which gives out another like uh Let's say it essentially gives them six more overall defense because that's pretty much what it does for anything that isn't a falchion or naga, I guess. So it's like he has 22 defense basically. When you compare that to 
other units, it's still 22 defense, even with the patched up whatever from his legendary weapon. Then you look at a unit like Sophia, who still has six more defense, and that's at base. And then you remember that you can't actually get any merges for him, so that doesn't do him any better either, on top of not having IVs, because if Sophia were to say use a plus defense IV instead of a plus attack one like most people usually would, that's 31 defense compared to his 22. Like, you're starting to see why on paper it sounds cool to give him close counter, but in the end of the day, he's just not that great with it. Like, you can do the same thing, you can compare him to a lion and it's kind of the same thing. He, he just doesn't have the original base defense to justify this weapon that's basically wasted on him. And it's kind of the same for Soren, where it's like, it's a little less so because Soren does have excess IVs and his plus defense gives him 20 with his HP. So he does get kind of a halfway decent amount of bulk on top of his uh, pretty all right speed. But I mean, let's say you were to always get that uh, that minus seven from his uh, attack on top of also having the out zone. So it's a uh, let's say you gave him plus defense. So it's 27 defense with 36 HP. It doesn't sound too bad, but then you remember that as far as because we're still looking at this from a tanking standpoint. He's still going to perform, he's still going to underperform even with his Altom refined compared to Bowie and Merrick. That said, if you're looking for somebody for score, between the three of them, I would definitely pick Soren over the other two because you get to use the Altom as a legendary effect, which means you'll have You'll have an easier time finding synergetic teams with him since you can use him for score. So like if you're preferring if you're looking for which green mage to use for score and you're still looking to use close counter, but you still for some reason don't want to use Nino, since Orin's a pretty good pick. But other than that, um C tier would basically be everyone else. Everyone who's not on this list because would, there's just too many of the put on here. So if you're running them for score, they're C tier. Some of them are pretty good with uh close counter, like low key, like if you do like close counter Altone Nino, I, I hear that's getting like really popular lately. Like you can do that and it's pretty cool on her, but I wouldn't exactly call it like the best user of close counter, but it's definitely really good because you know people are trying to justify using score builds for Nino because you know she's super popular everybody uses her so it's like of course and then she's easy to merge to so of course you want to keep using that so it makes sense why people would do so there isn't really too much to go on about go on about this because you know it's not really as detailed as the polar vengeful fire because there isn't too much unique about each of these characters that are in each of these tier brackets that I really need to detail except maybe like giving close counter to uh, fallen takami which is killing your regular takami like you would probably do that if you if it were to say you just you still want to use takami but you know that you're probably never going to pull another close counter instead of having like a zero neutral plus zero takami you can have a plus two neutral fallen takami something like that and you know that makes him a pretty good user though too and he and he is a pretty decent user of it like I'd, I'd probably change his weapon out since you're probably not going to use him for score anyway you're probably using him for favoritism and for the fact that the, he's actually pretty practical with it that said mm, it's really up to you again you can use just about anybody uh who can actually wear a close counter the only reason why you don't see Thought or the original Takami on here is because they come with close counter, so you can't really give them close counter. But if you were wondering how well they are with close counter, regular Takami would be A, and Tharja would also obviously be an S tier. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to throw this out here just in case people were still wondering how if if they really want to father to Takami off the put close counter on somebody because you know everybody just got one for free. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wondering. So if you have somebody that's wondering throw this video to them or at least throw the tier list to them you know it's kind of whatever anyway that'll be all from me if you ever want to talk to me uh one-on-one -on -one, sort of or you just want to talk to this community we got here there's a discord link in the description it's always there come talk to us you know we have a lot of fun there it's pretty great so yeah 
that's probably all from me. If you like the video, you know, like it, share it, all that other good stuff. Anyways, I'm out. Thank you.